Uh-oh, Jupiter's rising. You know what that means. Yeah, it means you're talking and not passing the milk. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Thanks for the help, Jerome. Jerome, you made him drag that big box in here all by himself. Oh, I'm sorry, little man. When you said you needed help with something, I see, I thought it was your homework. And you thought he'd ask you? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Uh-oh, I know what that is. Christmas cookies. We're selling them for school. I want to sell 20 boxes. You know, James, you shouldn't get your hopes up too high about selling a lot of cookies. Mama won't help you sell them. Because our brother Jarvis ruined it for everybody when he was your age. He had Mama doing all his work. Yeah, so when our turn came, all we heard was, Now, who do you think I am? Famous Amos? Look, you want those cookies sold, you get your nair behind out there and sell them yourself. Hey, just one of the perks of being the firstborn. Well, I wasn't going to ask Mama to help anyway. Reverse psychology. Not a bad gimmick. Mama may actually fall for that one. Mm -mm, I'm sure she still remembers the torment Jarvis put her through. Oh, no. Nah, I'm sure Mama forgot all about that. Forgot about what? Christmas cookies? Uh-uh, not a chance. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Don't worry, Mama. I'm going to get my nail behind out there and sell it myself. Come here, my angel. Now, you see, this is my self-sufficient child. He's not trifling like you things, coming in here whining and me. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, tonight we're gonna have a special dessert because Mama is buying your first box of Christmas cookies. That's one. <laughs> I've been working hard, two jobs every day. Giving time to my children, showing them the way. We're done. Now, these are really made by elves. Okay, so I made that up, but they're really good. Just one box, please. Thank you. Well, that Uncle Charles is really tight with his money. Man, where is she? That depends on who she is. The girl I used to call my sister. The girl who betrayed her own flesh and blood. There you are, you traitor. Boy, you lucky I don't pay the bills around here, or I'd make you pack your bags. <laughs> By the time you pay bills, I'll be too old to move. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all now? Mama, this girl here had the audacity to cast me as a wise man when she knew I wanted to be Joseph. <laughs> That's it, Denisha. Pack your bags and get out of my house. <laughs> oh, sure. Make light of a serious situation. Oh, come here, my sensitive middle son. You tell your mama what that big mean sister yours did you. Well... Just because she's directing a Christmas play at the church, she thinks she knows everything. As the director, I just think Kevin Johnson makes a better Joseph. Oh, please. Mary wouldn't even give Kevin Johnson a second look. The only reason you want to be Joseph is because Tanya Wilson is playing Mary. Tanya Wilson? Who? Joseph hit the jackpot. <laughs> yeah, and I'm stuck on the other side of the manger with some smelly sheep. What's so bad about that? <laughs> Look at it this way, you could have been cast as baby Jesus. No lines and you're naked. <laughs> hey, Charles. Hey, Phil. Christmas lights work. Mm, if I'd known you looked this good in lights, I never would have bought a Christmas tree this year. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hi, baby. How are your sales going? Good. I just sold two more boxes to Lynette. What? I already bought some from you. Don't fuss at my child if you and your woman don't communicate. <laughs> Uncle Charles, it's almost Christmas. When are you going 
to put sand on the reindeer up on the roof? Don't you worry about it, James. I'm gonna drive that herd up there and have them in reindeer formation before you know it. Get up there, Rudolph. And watch where you point that nose. Oh, Charles, nobody does my roof like you do. Yes, because I'm the only one that does it. Hey, Charles, how about I help you this year? Oh, I appreciate that, Jarvis, but it gets a little tricky up there. Well, what's the big deal? I mean, you climb the ladder, put the stuff up, climb back down. <laughs> Uh, if only it were that simple. See, Jarvis, what you don't understand is there are spatial and artistic considerations here. That's right. If you don't put those plastic reindeers up there just right, they look phony. <laughs> hey, Mama. Hi, baby. Hey, Mrs. Powers. Hey, James. I really like your hair that way. Oh, thank you, baby. Would you like to buy some Christmas cookies? <laughs> Ooh, I recommend the chocolate Santas. The faces are especially good. <laughs> I'd love to, honey, but my Sarah's selling them, too. Oh, I understand. I'm the competition. Well, see you later. Oh, that's my little salesman. He's sold 13 boxes already. How's Sarah doing? Pretty well. <clears throat> oh, come on, Dolores. We went to school together. You can tell me how many did she sell. All right, 75. Whoa, your daughter sold 75 boxes? By herself? Well, we helped a little. How little? Well, I sold 22, and her father sold 43 at the funeral home. John tells him the sugar helps with the grief. <laughs> you got to be kidding. No, I don't think so. I always take M&Ms to a funeral when I go. Get away from me. Just get away from me. Well, I'm proud of James. He's learning how to be independent. What's little Sarah learning? Well, she's learning how to build a support system. She's learning how to delegate responsibility. She's learning how to sit on her butt and watch her parents do her work for her. <laughs> Come on, Thea. We're not the only parents doing this. I can't think of one kid who sold less than 50 boxes. Hey, <laughs> you know I can. Oh. <laughs> Have you finished counting those curlers? I sure did. Count them again. I guess I could have missed a few. <laughs> this is for charity. This is not a competition. Well, if it's not a competition, Thea, why are they giving the winner a trophy? So you're telling me if Sarah wins a trophy, that you and that gravedigger husband of yours gonna go up there and pick it up? <laughs> Fine, Thea. You go right ahead and let James be humiliated in front of his entire class because you refused to lift a finger to help him. Uh, that's not what this is about. This is about self-reliance, hard work and pride in a job well done. Fine. Whatever you say, Thea, you know best. After all, you are older and wiser. Oh, no, you didn't say that, sister girl. <laughs> oh, no, your birthday is one day behind mine. I'm your hairdresser. I know your business. I do your roots. <laughs> Speaking of which, I guess I'll see you next week because you need a touch-up real bad. <laughs> see <ya. laughs> You better talk to your sister. Why you better get on out my shop, girl. See you next week. <laughs> I just don't get it. Where's the justice in this world? There, my son is trying to do something by himself, and nobody respects him for it. But then you know those parents don't have any principles, only you. Ruth, this is Thea Terrell. I hear you're ahead of the cookie drive. Well, I hope you have an ample supply, because I'm kicking this cookie drive into high gear. Uh-uh, baby, you can start engraving that trophy right now. That's James Terrell, two R's and two L's. Hey, how you doing? Hi. What you doing with these? Oh, uh, just some cookies I was going to buy. <laughs> uh-uh. Didn't you see that sweet little boy over there selling Christmas cookies? Oh, well, I guess, ma'am, I did, but see, I really like these cookies. Well, see, forget these. These are bad they got all kind of chemicals in them. Child, let here. Those aren't full of chemicals? Yeah, but they're natural chemicals. Well, Merry Christmas. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, Dorothy Girl! Hey, Phil. I see you reading that romance novel, Island of the Primitive Passion. Yes, I just love those romance novels. Lord knows there's nothing better than curling up with a piece of steamy fiction and a box of assorted cookies. Am I right? Show me like my sister. <laughs> child and you're reading a book and you're eating cookies and you turn the pages and you're eating cookies and you turn the pages and hello no more cookies uh -oh. yes, and if you're like me dorothy and let's face it you are like me <laughs> you've got three choices read a short novel read faster or my personal preference eat guilt-free cookies guilt-free cookies i don't want those no sugar no fat no thank you <laughs> Not the ones I'm talking about, girl. 
They have all the junk that we love, except you don't have to feel guilty about eating them. And why is that? Because the money goes to charity. Well, Thea, you found yourself a major contributor. Where do I sign up, girl? That sweet little man over there. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Same to you, Thea. Thea. Yes? What is little James doing over there? Selling his heart out. Mm-hmm. And didn't I tell you he couldn't sell cookies in the store? Now, don't make me get ugly. Too late. <laughs> Besides, it's for his school. Yeah, well, his school ain't paying my rent. I told you he can sell them outside. Forget you. I'm not putting my baby out there in that cold. Don't you forget you, me. I'm the manager. Now, you keep that up, and you both gonna be out in the cold. Oh, really? Well, excuse me. Attention, Bagley shoppers. What are you doing, Theo? I have a special announcement to make. This manager of ours has just agreed to allow that industrious young man over there to sell his cookies inside the market. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for shopping at Bagley's, the supermarket with the heart. <laughs> I'm gonna get you for this deal. Uh, all right, Uncle Charles, you ready to do this? All right. <laughs> Whoa, uh, it's pretty high up here. Nah, it's not that high. I mean, if you fell from here, you might break a leg or two, but you won't die. Well, you might if you bounced and hit the road and the truck ran across your neck. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, all right, first thing we're gonna have to do is make sure that this tinsel isn't tangled. So why don't you take Prance and walk on over there? Oh, uh, no, 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 that's okay, man. Uh, they don't look tangled to me. <laughs> well, you can't tell until you stretch it out. Then we've got a problem. <laughs> Why is that? I can't move. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you afraid of heights? Yeah. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But your father was the same way. That's why he always held the ladder. Look, why don't you go in through the window? I just set this up myself. <laughs> That one is, too. Well, Jarvis, it looks like we got to go down the ladder. Come on. Hey, uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck Uncle Charles, uh, you just go on and do what you have to do. Uh, we'll stay here for a little while. We three wise men have come from afar, bearing gifts. We follow the star in the east. But, uh, let me be the first to congratulate the new mother. Cut! What are you doing? Jerome, what do you think you're doing? Look, you cannot kiss the Blessed Mother. That is not in the play. Well, you know, it's been a rough night. I mean, the woman just had a baby in the manger. You know, I'm just trying to show a little love, look and passion here. Hey, was that wrong? Not a thing. You are one wise man. Shut up, Otis. And you keep your hormones out of the manger. Look, this rehearsal has been a disaster, Joseph. When you hear there's no room at the end, you have to sell dejection. And innkeeper, when you tell him there's no room, there's vacancy written all over your face. You got it? All right. Let's get back to the top, please. Let's go. Hey, can we take a break and get something to drink? No. Hey, come on on. I mean, we just walked all the way across that desert. We thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> you know you great. All right. Look, 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 look. Let's not listen to her. Let's just take five, all right? all right? Excuse me. The only one who says take five is the director. Oh, really? Then we won't say it. We'll just do it. Come on. Let's get a drink on. <laughs> Look, I've just about had it with you. How dare you under my, my authority? Well, we're all getting pretty sick of your authority. Look, all I'm trying to do is make the best possible play I can, and I'm not getting any of your cooperation. No cooperation? Look, all you do is criticize. You're supposed to be a wise man who traveled all the way from the East. I want you exhausted. I want you wise. <laughs> What is going on here? 
ask Denisha Spielberg. <laughs> Mama, we're supposed to be doing the nativity and they're not following my direction. I mean, they're changing the staging, they're changing the lines, they're kissing Mary. Oh, I know you are not rewriting the apostle. Well, you know, I'm just trying to bring it into the 90s. For example, frankincense and myrrh. Now, who even knows what that is? So you're no longer bearing gifts? Well, you know, we're still going with the gold, but the other two, I think we changed to a baby Air Jordans and a speaking spell. <laughs> look, 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 Denisha. This is the Christmas play. Let's see a little less Hollywood and a little more holiday. But, Mama, I, 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 and as for you, Mr. Man, leave the gospel alone. It's been doing quite well for some time now. Now, what I want to see is some harmony on the set. You two break a leg. I'm just about half. Now, if I hear them more arguing, I'll break them for you. <laughs> Why do they call a pair of pants a pair of pants? <laughs> they only get one. Why don't they just call it a pant? <laughs> oh, another thing. I read in this magazine that scientists believe before too long will no longer have baby toes. Yeah, I know, I know. Look, Jarvis, I don't care about pants. I'm keeping my baby toes. And for the life of me, I don't know why when you stand up, your lap is gone. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to make some small talk here. For the last three hours? OK, I got a question for you. Are you ever going to let go of that pipe? No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you going to spend Christmas on the roof? I'm starting to like it up here. <laughs> Look, Jarvis. You're going to have to deal with this fear, and the best way to deal with it is to meet it head on and master it. Well, how am I supposed to do that? You get your butt off the roof and your feet on that ladder. Oh, sorry, Uncle Charles. I can't do it. Come on, I'll help you. Give me your hand. Oh, I can't. Oh, come on. Come on. Come <laughs> on. All right. Now, at the count of three, I want you to give me the other hand. OK. One, two, three. <laughs> The whole idea of Christmas, Jarvis, is to spend it with the family, celebrating, inside. The roof is no place for Christmas. Hey, it works for Santa. <laughs> All right, that's it. Come on. We go. Here we go. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Easy, easy. Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of things I'm not afraid of. Yeah, of course there are. A lot of people are afraid of mice, <laughs> not me. Uh-huh, she takes a lot of courage. Spiders, ha, I laugh in their faces. Yeah, if you keep babbling, son, we almost down. Uh, you know, when I was young and afraid, my mama used to sing to me. Up on the rooftop, reindeer's paws. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little ones, Christmas joy. Hey, Pauletta. Yes, Thea. Now, I know you remember that magazine subscription I bought from Clifford Jr., right? Well, it's payback time. <laughs> yeah, Christmas cookies. Can I put you down for two boxes? OK. Oh, so how's it been going with you? <gasps> so you got the new job? I'm so happy for you. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to put you down for four. <laughs> OK, my girlfriend. Ooh. Hey, baby. Mama, I'm in trouble. What happened? Somebody stole my cookies. I only have two boxes left. Calm down. But I'm going to have to pay for these, and I don't have any money. I bet it was those actors. <laughs> no, it was me. Mama, you stole my cookies. No, honey, I sold your cookies. Look, we sold 58 boxes. Mama, why are you selling my cookies? Well, a lot of the parents are helping the kids. Well, I didn't want any help. I wanted to earn that certificate myself. What certificate? The one you get for selling 20 boxes. Don't you want to win the trophy? I don't care about the trophy. I just want the certificate. Why? Because it looks just like Daddy's contractor's license that I have in my room. I wanted to put it up on the wall next to his. Well, I'm sure you'll get it. You sold way more than 20 boxes. But it's not the way Daddy got his. He said he worked really hard to get it, and nobody helped him. Yes, he did. He did it all by himself. And I should have let you do it all by yourself, James. Mama's sorry. That's OK, Mama. I know you meant well. I tell you what we can't do, though. We'll separate my sales from yours. Look, you sold 24 boxes. Congratulations, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about the cookies you sold? Well, we'll just take that money and put it under another name. 
Anonymous. Anonymous? Who's that? Somebody who should have kept her nose out of your business. <laughs> mm. Well, what do you say Mama gives you an early Christmas gift? You mean I can open it now? You sure can. And a frame just like Daddy's. <laughs> and you earned it just like he did. Merry Christmas, baby. Thanks, Mom. Hark, y'all. <laughs> Am I looking wise or what? <laughs> look at my baby, oozing with wisdom. Yeah, look how big his head looks. <laughs> All right, they seen it, now take it off. Hey, I'm in the Bible, girl. My orders come from high up. <laughs> Jerome, we've seen it. Take it off. Yes, ma'am. You know, baby, you and Jarvis did a good job on the roof. Oh, uh, we sure did. Thanks. Except Donna and Blitzen seem a little close. Why don't you go up there, Jarvis, and separate them? <clears throat> <laughs> uh, actually, Mama, uh, I did that on purpose, you see? You know, you always hear on Dasser, on Dasher, on Prancer. It's like the separate. But you always hear Donna and Blitzen. Donna and Blitzen. <laughs> don't you see, Mama? They're pals. <laughs> see, I strategically placed them to give that desired effect. You see what I'm saying? Sound like you got your daddy's fear of heights. <laughs> you got his daddy's grip, too. 